I was getting ready for my interviews. Literally same thing as the first time. And my friend Larsa called me to explain that a reporter that she knows was about to write a story that Jordan and Tristan were at his home late night or until seven in the morning. They said they were like making out and I immediately didn't believe it. You know, and I was like, this can't be true. Hello. Hey, it's me and Chloe. Hello. Hey. Hi. Did you talk uh, to Jordan? I talked to Jordan. She, it's really weird. She's not giving me all the information. She was like, he was trying to kiss me and was like, I can't remember if we did or didn't. I'm like, what? I'm like, wait, wait, wait. What? let's tell Kylie. Merge. That door. Okay. Hey, Kylie, Courtney, Chloe. Sure. So I spoke to Jordan. She was in between his legs. Is blah, someone blah, blah. coming? I'm standing outside the f***ing locked door. With f***ing paparazzi. Courtney, shut the f*** up. So. I can't she remember. Said, I can't remember if we kissed. I said, if you are too nervous to tell me something, you can text me. And she said, okay, I'll call you in five minutes. She hasn't called me, and that was like 20 minutes ago. No, but, but why did Jordan have to say she had to call you back? It's very weird. Exactly. This is the first time I'm hearing she was sitting on his lap. I mean, I need to f***ing hold true. So Tristan's on a plane flying back from All-Star Weekend. So Jordan is the only one that can give Chloe information, and she has gone radio silent now. So it just must be such a frustrating situation for Chloe to be in, not knowing what's going on and just wanting answers.